Crime knows no frontiers. To combat the growing menace of the international criminal, the police forces of the world have opened up their own national boundaries. At their headquarters in Paris, scientifically equipped to match the speed of the jet age, 63 nations have linked together to form the international criminal police organization, Interpol. <laughs> We are now taking you over to Padua, to our Eurovision link for the latest report of the Italian Mila Milia race. 1,000 miles of terrifying high-speed motoring from Brescia down the coast to Rome, and then back through the mountains to Brescia again. This year, over 400 sports racing cars have entered. The first away left Brescia at 9 p.m. yesterday, and cars have been roaring away at two-minute intervals through the night. Everyone is anxiously awaiting car number 22, the Cosette special driven by the brothers Cliff and Mike McGrath. Here they come now, as they roll past us, it's Cliff McGrath at the wheel. Cliff is the one driver you can never mistake. He's wearing his famous Goodrock medallion. He will never sit behind a wheel without this lucky charm of his, and so far it stood him in very good stead. He left the starting round from Croatia at 9.24 this morning, leaving black rubber on the road all the way out of the town. And since then, has been reaching 170 miles per hour on the very fast open section of the race. The in the Hello, Rosita. Any prints on that? Only hers, Mrs. Cliff McGrath. It was rigged to look like suicide. Here, have it photographed and check the number. What's the catch? Catch? A woman is murdered. You're on the spot within a half an hour. You've got the gun, and you've got a suspect. All nice and simple. So why bring in Interpol? Because of the suspect. Ah, diplomatic immunity. That is all he will say, diplomatic immunity. Hmm. Paul, I don't know whether he did it or not, but I can't get anywhere until he talks. Let's get him in. How did you get onto him? The janitor saw him running out of this apartment. I recognized him. Oh. He'd been here before. <laughs> yes, a regular visitor. Sit down, senor. I refuse to answer any questions. A woman has been murdered, senor. I cannot refuse to cooperate with the police. You were seen running away from this apartment within minutes of her death. How long do you think diplomatic immunity will extend to a murderer? Your country is a member of Interpol. If you won't help us, I'm sure your chief of police will. I had nothing to do with it. Then you have nothing to fear. How well did you know Mrs. McGrath? Tell us the truth. She might help you to avoid a scandal. Uh, we were going to be married. Did her husband know? Oh, she was going to divorce him. Where is the husband? In the clear. I checked. At this moment, Cliff McGrath is driving a racing car in the Italian Mille Miglia. Thank you, sir. Thank you. I, uh, I have a reservation on the flight to Milan. Yes, sir? Uh, I want to change it. I've just found there's an earlier plane in 20 minutes. But that's a longer trip, sir. It goes via Zurich. Uh, yes, I know that. But it still gets to Milan first. Very short notice, sir. Look, I'm in a hurry. Can you do it? Well, there is a cancellation, sir. Oh, good. You shot her, then smashed the husband's picture. No. You just walked in and found her dead. I saw the murderer, I tell you. He was running towards the road. If you saw him, why can't you give us a description? I just found Zita dead. It was a terrible shock. Everything was confused. And he was in the car and driving away before I could think. Car? What car? Zeta's car. Well, that's it. He drove away in Zeta's car. What kind of a car was it? A blue convertible. Check the number and send out a general call to pick it up. Grimo speaking, yes. You... you believe me, senor? Yes, I do. 
Thank you very much. We have traced the gun. It's a stolen weapon. The thief was arrested two weeks ago. Where is he now? Awaiting trial at the central jail. He may know something. Bang on schedule! Who cares about schedule? Take it easy, Mike, will you? I want to get out of this car in one piece. You're being paid for it. Shut up. But suppose something goes wrong. Suppose Cliff doesn't turn up at the rendezvous. He'll turn up. But if he doesn't, how are you going to explain me? Look, will you leave the thinking to us and shut up? OK, Mike, OK. You say you sold the gun in a bar. Which bar? A uh, bar. Montparnasse. Who did you sell it to? We didn't exchange visiting cards. Well, what did he look like? About your height. About 30, maybe. Wore dark glasses. How did you meet him? Uh, for certain reasons, I was anxious to get out of France. I thought I could help. Help? Why? He was Irish. An Irishman? You're sure? With that accent? <laughs> sure, I'm sure. We are now approaching Zurich. Will passengers please fasten their safety belts and extinguish their cigarettes? Did you get anything from the gun? Sure. An Irishman wearing dark glasses. Good, very good. It checks with the clerk's description. What clerk? The airline ticket clerk. They found Mrs. McGrath's car abandoned near Orly Airport. Yes? I've had the airport security police check. An Irishman wearing dark glasses and with a ticket for Milan exchanged his ticket for an earlier flight. Time of takeoff? The aircraft lands at Zurich in Switzerland. The Swiss police should be talking with him any minute now. Oh, I charge the call to you. Flight number 142 for Milan. Please collect their hand baggage and extinguish all cigarettes. Passengers on flight number 142 for Milan. We are ready now. Excuse me. Mr. Donovan, please. Would Mr. Donovan come to the desk, please? Which way did he go? He went through there. The Mira Mila. The brothers Cliff and Mike McGrath are still leading the unlimited class. Not since the days of the great Volare and Caracciola has such driving been seen. It looks as though there will be a record average speed up into the 90s. Hank Peroni is still hanging grimly onto McGrath, but tries he might, he cannot pass him. Three and a half hours to go. How can these boys keep it up? I've just heard from the Italian police. They missed Cliff McGrath at his last check stop, so he still doesn't know about his wife. Just as well. At the speed he's driving, he shouldn't have that on his mind. Why the interest? 
I was just thinking of motive. Her husband has a very strong one. But he couldn't have done it. I know. Just the same, she was going to divorce him. And she had all the money. Killing her would solve all his problems. Paul, he's been racing all day. The Mila Milia. You've just heard it yourself. Hello. Yes? What? Good, good. Now we know. The Irishman is our boy. He bolted at Zurich in a stolen car. Roadblocks? On all highways. Now that he's shown himself, it should be easy. They'll get him. And you can forget about Cliff McGrath. Maybe. Cliff McGrath is an Irishman. Oh, no, Paul. The idea's impossible. Yes. Quite impossible. <laughs> Quarters 2.35. 3 5, over. Set up roadblock on Highway 7, stop white MG sports car. Understood, out. Trouble. Where's he heading? No report yet. Thank you. Make sure every message is brought to me immediately. Preferably by you. I'm not ruling out Cliff McGrath yet. But Paul... I know. But what if he had an accomplice? What if he hired someone to kill his wife? While he establishes the perfect alibi out there, driving in front of a million viewers. Possible. Look at this. The police check on Cliff McGrath. He was definitely in Paris the evening the gun was sold to the Irishman. You can't hang a man on this. With his alibi, we can't hang him, period. Motive, gun, description, everything points to Cliff McGrath. You can't beat it, Paul. The Irishman and McGrath can't be one and the same. Impossible. But still, I'm going to make sure. How? I'm going to be on that finishing line at Brescia when Cliff McGrath crosses it. There's a plane leaving in a half an hour. Get me on it. And call Captain Pagano. Ask him to warn all frontier posts, all of them. And ask him to meet me with a car. Two hours to go. Let me take over. You can hold this thing for ten yards. Ah, oh, for Pete's sake. How much further till we pick up Cliff? If we live that long. Shut up.
Signore, è là! Felicia! Felicia! La signora è là! checkpoint in this fantastic race. By my watch, Pete McGrath should be due here at any second. Capitano Pagano. Pagano, over. The report on the Irishman. Suspect crossed frontier near Lugano on top of a lorry. Seen by a farmer, but too late to stop. Check. Well, now he's in my territory. Across the frontier near Lugano. Captain, I want McGrath's car pulled out of the race. Stop the car? I think our suspect is Cliff McGrath. And I think he's aiming to meet up with car number 22 before it hits Brescia couldn't have done it. Look at the getaway route. Paris, Zurich, the border post near Lugano. Now he's aiming straight for Brescia. We've got to stop car number 22 and check who's in it right now. If Cliff McGrath's in that car, when it crosses the finishing line, he's got the greatest alibi of all time. Captain Pagano to headquarters. Urgent. I want the McGrath's car stopped at the next checkpoint. Signore, signore, wonderful, magnifico! Never since the days of the great Nubalari have I seen yeah. such magnificent tribe. Sure. Oh, yes, yes. <coughs> Good luck, signor. Good luck. Hello. What? Stop car number 22 is impossible. But I cannot stop him. He's gone already. Of course, it was Cliff McGraw was driving. I saw him myself. I sent this car. A case of murder. Signore, to try and stop the car now would be worse than murder. To stop the winning car would be a tragedy. No, it cannot be stopped until the finish at Brescia. The draft had checked out before we could stop him, Capitano. Right, over and out. Well, what now? You've got to beat that car to the finishing line. How can that help? I don't know. But there may still be something. How far is it to Brescia? Brescia? That is the next station. Yes, I know that, but how far? Ah, uh -huh, signore. You are in a hurry? Yes, I'm in a hurry. Then you do not want to know how far it is? <laughs> you want to know how long it takes? Listen. Just outside Brescia, there's a bridge, a road bridge. Do you know it? Signore, I travel on this train three times a week. Look, do you know it? Yes, I know it. In a few moments, we will be crossing it. You are interested in bridges, Signore? Just in this one.
made it. Patrols are moving in on the area. Oh, they'll be too late. Come on, step on it. Control room, please. But it's Cliff McGrath. Quickly. Gentlemen, gentlemen, will you come with me, please? Oh, what is all this? Heard about your wife, Mr. McGrath? Uh, yes, he just told me. You don't seem shocked. Well, it's pretty sudden. I haven't had time to think. You've had time. You've had time since Paris. I, I don't get you. You murdered your wife, Mr. McGrath. Well, you must be crazy. Twenty million people know that I've been burning myself up behind the wheel all day. You must be exhausted. We traced the gun. What gun? The murder gun. The one you bought in Paris. You'd never pin that on me, even if it were true. No? You're just guessing. I've got an alibi, a thousand miles of alibi. If you want to hang anything on me, you're out of luck, mister. No. It is you who is out of luck, McGrath. For once, your lucky piece has let you down. Why, it brought me through the race, didn't it? You always wear it, positive proof of identity. But you weren't driving, your brother was. You dirted up your face. You should have dirted up this spot, too, after you switched the medallion. Shut the fool! Now shut up! Call them both for murder. He killed her. I was a thousand miles away. Mike! That was his alibi. What happened to your co-driver? Maybe we'll find another body back down the road. Neither of you were a thousand miles from that one. Take them. They expected a lot from that medallion, didn't they? They expected to get away with murder. Mm -hmm. 